Ron, what do you think led to him regards as let down there in the eighth inning? Well, I think he was out of gas. I think uh, I think he did a nice job uh, of getting out of the seventh. Um, got himself in trouble, made some great pitches. Uh, we still thought his pitch count was okay, um, and we were going to pinch hit for him if you know things we don't hit into a double play. He wouldn't have been out there for the eighth. But um, but the batter, the hitters that were coming up, we thought um, we'll leave him in and just kind of go batter to batter with him and. And um, so, you know, the first two guys are on. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, you know, sometimes it's a, he's a young guy. I know he's confident. And I know he's got great stuff. But uh, but sometimes some things happen in games. You get a little rattled, and uh, and you got to get right back out there and and do it. And that's we talk about. Um, we talk about the veteran guys, you know, like like Frankie, how he can turn the page. Well, a younger guy, it's harder to do that. So, uh, so we need to get him just to, still got great stuff. He just he's up in the zone more now than he was, and uh, and we got to get him confident and back that back down in the zone. I know you don't like walking; I just to load the bases. But did, did you think about walking um, Rollins to get to the lefties? Kind of uh, not when you're talking about Utley. Uh, he just. He's too good a hitter, and when it's on the line, that's probably the last guy you want to face. So, uh, plus it, it leaves um, it leaves that same same spot where if if he misses with the first couple of pitches, what does he do? He's got to throw a fastball right down the middle, and and it puts too much pressure on a pitcher to do that. I uh, I like Will against right-handers too, so it's just we we flip over Rollins. Um, you know, probably the harder decision was: Do you leave Matt in that ball game, knowing that he's really exhausted? Do you leave him in because it's uh, because it's kind of his ball game? That's that's the, that was a hard decision there. You mean as far as sending him back out in the eighth? Yeah, well, it, as far as even letting him pitch to Rollins, uh, Rollins got the base hit off him the time before, and we knew that uh, he had pitched a great game to that point, and and uh, and was probably done. But it is his ball game, so that's that's when it becomes tough. When you go from the excitement of like a no hitter late into a game and a one to nothing game and a very tense, exciting game, and it ends up nine to one, how deflating is it? Yeah, that game shouldn't. That's what that's what bothers me. I look at the final score, and that's ridiculous. We we're way too good of a team, or way too good of a bullpen, uh, to let that game get away like that. Okay, Will comes in, he gives up a base hit. I'm fine. We're down two to one. We still got two at bats. Coming in the eighth and the ninth, uh, but that game should not end up. That inning should not end up seven to one. It shouldn't happen. Does it make it harder to pick up the pieces now? Oh, well, it's the, the longer it keeps going, the, the the worse things happen for us. It gets a little tougher. So we're uh, we'll come out tomorrow. We'll talk about some things and uh, and see if we can get this turned around. Ron, kind of with what you just said there, have you noticed maybe a a change in the sense of confidence, and is there any type of added urgency to make a move or a shift of any sort right now? Uh, to the club, they're always uh, we're always talking about that, and uh, uh, Doug was just in again and and discussing some things. So, yeah, I think there's um, there's a point where you talk, and if everything makes sense, then you then you try to do something. But um, this club got us to this point, uh, and if you just look at where we are, it's still pretty good. And uh, and it's the same ball club, so uh, so there's not an urgency to do anything, uh, but we do need to turn this around. We can't we can't keep playing like this. We know we're going to go through spells in a season where you're not going to play well, but this is long enough. So this is too good a team to let it go longer. Isn't the personnel that you have and everyone's pretty much healthy? Is this kind of the most frustrating rough stretch that you've had in your time here? I mean, last year May was tough, but everyone was hurt. And yeah, last year was quite different. Um, I think uh, yes, it is. Uh, we had uh, oh, we didn't start off well in eleven, um, but but tremendous second half, and and uh, so we we didn't have these this this type of bad spell. Um, we did have this last year, but like you said, we we were hurt, and so it's different. It's um, it's hard when you have a really really good club. You know how good they are, and uh, and something goes like uh, on like this over a week, it it gets tough. With you know, a lot of 
people I'm sure will look at St. Louis coming in as a key series, but at this point, do you not worry so much about no matter who comes in, you just got to play better? Exactly. Um, you know, we come in here and Philly, you know, isn't playing well. We know they're a good team, but they're not playing well and come out and lose four games. So, yeah, it's really hard to look at who you're playing and not concentrate on what you have that day in front of you uh, because we know how quickly it turns, and it turned. Ron, probably maybe lost a little bit in that late collapse. It was another bad day for the offense, though, one run. I mean, you're... You're right. You're getting one or two runs almost yeah. every game. Now. Yeah, they're they're all they're all pressing. I can see it. Uh, they're trying to all get something going, and and uh, you need you need one guy to get hot, and then hopefully a couple of other guys get hot, and then <clears throat> and then here we go. We take off again offensively.